Samba Ben Affleck puts on United Front with ex Jennifer Garner and their daughters as he takes them for ice cream. As groping scandals rumble on, his name has been dragged into the explosive sexual harassment controversy currently dominating Hollywood. But Ben Affleck was on full on family mode on Thursday as he picked his daughters up from school. The 45 year old put on a united front with his ex Jennifer Garner as they collected Violet, 11, and Serafina, 8. The force then headed to Rory's artisanal creamery in Santa Monica for ice creams. The family all laughed together, hugged and, and held hands in a show of affection. The day before the Batman star publicly apologized and admitted to acting inappropriately after actress Hilary Burton accused him of groping her breast on a 2003 episode of TRL. Indeed a Fleck cut a downcast figure while on a solo outing in Brentwood earlier on Thursday. His grizzled locks were disheveled as he sported a matching bushy beard on the outing. The alias actor was dressed down in a black leather Gucci bomber jacket over a graphic t-shirt, baggy jeans, and green leather tennis shoes. His girlfriend Lindsay Shukas looked relaxed as she was, was spotted across the country on an air on a run in New York City on the same day. However it is his ex-wife Jennifer who is said to be not so pleased that he is now embroiled in such a scandal. A source told E. News on Thursday that the 45-year-old actress is very annoyed because it just means more attention on her and the kids as a result of Ben's actions. She tries to shield them from any and all publicity and scrutiny. She's taking her kids to school and to all of their activities. As far as they know nothing has changed and all is well. That is always her goal but she's been pretty frustrated with him. The two share three children together as their divorce was finalized in April of this year after separating in 2015. This all comes just a day after the Hollywood actor tweeted a short statement on the incident just hours after it was raised by the One Tree Hill actress in light of the Weinstein sex scandal. I acted inappropriately toward Ms. Burton and I sincerely apologize, he wrote. Burton claims she was groped by a fleck during his appearance on MTV's TRL in 2003. The former host of the show shared the allegations on Tuesday night, just hours after a fleck made a statement condemning Harvey Weinstein's alleged abusive actions in his sexual assault and harassment scandal. In it he a fleck said he was saddened and angry over the sickening claims. The flex statement was quickly slammed by a number of people, including Weinstein accuser Rose McGowan, who called a flex a liar. When a fan tweeted that a flex might as well have kept quiet, another Twitter user wrote, he also grabbed Hillary Burton's breasts on TRL once. Everyone forgot though. The actress then surprised the Twitter thread by interjecting with, I didn't forget. The incident reportedly happened when he appeared on the show in 2003. Burton was 21. A video clip from the show shows a fleck telling Burton a story mid-interview which appears to be about moves men used to pick up women. He leans his arm around the young host who is wearing a yellow bando dress. No groping is seen on camera but Burton noticeably jumps and looks shocked on the footage as Affleck smiles and returns to his seat. Speaking further about the incident, Hillary thanked the Twitter user, writing, I was a kid. Girls? I'm so impressed with you brave ones. I had to laugh back then so I wouldn't cry. Sending love. She then tweeted a clip from an interview she did taking fans behind the scenes at TRL. In it she relives and laughs off the incident. He wraps his arm around me and comes over and tweaks my left boob, she says. I'm just like, what are you doing? Some girls like a good tweakage here and there, I like a high five. A female producer then speaks about the incident. I don't know what happened but Hillary was like, oh oh oh. There was a little squeeze, I don't know. 
Further footage shows a fleck asking the host, How old are you? 19? He would have been around 31 at the time of the recording. Burton is known for her portrayal as Peyton Sawyer on One Tree Hill, Sarah Ellis in White Collar and Karen Palmer in Lethal Weapon. Her first role was on TRL where she worked as a host from 1999 until she was cast as Peyton on One Tree Hill. She is married to Walking Dead actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan. TV host Anne-Marie Lossick, whose 2004 interview with Ben Affleck recently went viral, claimed Wednesday that she was not a victim of harassment. This was for the camera. You have to understand that we have done dozens and dozens of interviews like that. It was for a show I was producing, so I was not at all a victim, Lossick told The Hollywood Reporter. Lossick said the interview was just an act and as soon as the cameras stopped, there was none of that. He never touched me in any improper way. He was very respectful, the Canadian host said, adding that she's not thrilled to have the interview mixed in with the sexual harassment allegations against Weinstein because she doesn't think that is at all the same thing. The video starts by showing Lossik sitting on a flex lap facing him as he's heard, saying, they would like it better if you did the show topless. The fleck then turns Lossik around so she can face the camera before he places his head on her chest. This is a lovely perfume you have on, the fleck says as the two hold each other. He then says, you use your Sally show a lot more cleavage than this. What's the story? Why are you covering it up today? It's Sunday morning, Lossik responds. It's Sunday morning? That never stopped you before from getting them to asterisk asterisk s out, the flex says back to her in the interview that lasted for more than five minutes. But despite what the video appears to show, Lossik said it has been blown out of proportion. I know that people like fishing for anything, but this is completely out of context. I would like this to not have any negative impact on him. I find it sad. Lossick told The Hollywood Reporter that she did have an uncomfortable encounter with Weinstein years ago. He did invite me once at the Toronto Film Festival to go up to his suite for an interview. Of course I did not go. He said, I would be more comfortable in my suite. I said, um, no. I am not saying something would have happened, but I made sure nothing happened, Lossik said. The same day a makeup artist has claimed that a fleck grabbed her asterisk asterisk while they were attending a Golden Globes party. Anna-Marie Tendler, who is the author of The Daily Face and Pin It, tweeted Wednesday afternoon demanding an apology from the actor over the alleged incident. I would also love to get an apology from Ben Affleck who grabbed Maya asterisk asterisk at a Golden Globes party in 2014, she tweeted. Tendler followed that tweet up with more detail, saying, He walked by me, cupped my butt and pressed his finger into my crack. I guess he tried to play it like he was politely moving me out of the way and oops touched my butt instead of my lower back. Like most women in these situations I didn't say anything but I have thought a lot about what I'd say if I ever saw him again, she concluded. Writer and comedian Jen Statsky, who is known for her work on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, also tweeted about Tendler's allegations. I was also at this party and asterisk multiple asterisk friends had this same exact experience, she wrote on Twitter. Earlier on Tuesday Rose McGowan harshly criticized a fleck on Twitter, even going too far as to call him a liar. She tweeted, Benefit God asterisk mit. I told him to stop doing that you said that to my face. The press confi was made to go to after assault. You lie. The actress was allegedly assaulted by Weinstein in 1997 and has been crusading against silence over Weinstein's grim past and was the first of many to point out the 45-year-old actress claims to obliviousness. She then tweeted a screen grab of her message onto her main timeline with the message, You want to play? Let's play Rossiermi.
It's not clear which press conference she was referring to, but both McGowan and Affleck appeared in the 1998 movie Phantoms, which was executive produced by Weinstein. The horror flick premiered at the 1997 Sundance Film Festival, which is where McGowan's alleged assault took place. Affleck finally responded to the assault allegations against Weinstein five days after they broke. The producer backed to Fleck and Matt Damon's screenplay for Good Will Hunting. The Fleck said that he was saddened and angry over the claims but did not explicitly say that he was previously unaware of the claims made about Weinstein. He wrote, I am saddened and angry that a man who I worked with used his position of power to intimidate, sexually harass and manipulate many women over decades. The additional allegations of assault that I read this morning made me sick. This is completely unacceptable and I find myself asking what I can do to make sure this doesn't happen to others. We need to do better at protecting our sisters, friends, co-workers and daughters. We must support those who come forward, condemn this type of behavior when we see it and help ensure there are more women in positions of power. McGowan, angry at the star's days of silence, initially reacted to the news with a simple Ben Affleck F asterisk asterisk off. McGowan had been prodding Affleck and Damon for days to make some kind of remark to the claims and may have expected him to make some kind of denial. On Monday, she tweeted, Ben Affleck, Casey Affleck, how's your morning boys? K.C. Affleck has also been accused of sexual harassment, and many were enraged when he took home the title of Best Actor for his performance in Manchester by the Sea at the 2017 Academy Awards. The new allegations that Affleck mentioned came in an article by The New Yorker on Tuesday that said Weinstein had previously raped three women, significantly intensifying the scandal surrounding the disgraced movie mogul. Actress Asia Argento and a former aspiring actress named Lucia Evans went on the record to allege Weinstein forced himself on them sexually. A third woman spoke anonymously. More than a dozen women have now said Weinstein sexually harassed or assaulted them. The incidents described range from unwanted groping to forced sex. In a statement to the New York Times, Weinstein appeared to acknowledge some incidents did take place. I appreciate the way I've behaved with colleagues in the past has caused a lot of pain, and I sincerely apologize for it, he said. However, a representative for Weinstein vehemently denied the allegations of non-consensual sex in a statement to the New Yorker. Any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. Mr. Weinstein has further confirmed that there were never any acts of retaliation against any women for refusing his advances. Mr. Weinstein obviously can't speak to anonymous allegations, but with respect to any women who have made allegations on the record in the New Yorker piece, Mr. Weinstein believes that all of these relationships were consensual. Mr. Weinstein has begun counseling, has listened to the community and is pursuing a better path. Mr. Weinstein is hoping that if he makes enough progress, he will be given a second chance. Some of those incidents overlap with the eight allegations of sexual harassment previously reported by the New York Times, all of which resulted in financial settlements. The Fleck and co-star Matt Damon owe their careers to Weinstein after winning a Best Original Screenplay Oscar back in 1998 for Good Will Hunting. The film, which they both starred in, was produced by the Weinstein Company. The Fleck's statement came after he refused to respond to repeated requests for comment from Daily Mail. Com. It also came shortly before the New York Times published a story revealing both Gwyneth Paltrow and Angelina Jolie were subjected to unwanted advances by the Hollywood heavyweight. The Fleck and Paltrow dated briefly in the late 90s. Paltrow was dating Brad Pitt around the time Weinstein made advances towards her.
McGowan had also lashed out at Damon, calling him a spineless profiteer who stays silent after it was alleged that he and Russell Crowe had helped kill a story about the mogul's harassment in 2004. Damon broke his own silence shortly after a fleck, denying that accusation and claiming he had never been aware of the movie Mogul Harassing Women.